sa akin lahat. Welcome to Pinar Crossover, guys. Your boy, Mark Mark, your host for tonight. We're excited to talk a lot about things tonight. Our host, not just me for tonight. We got Ingrid here on my right side. How are you feeling today? Great. Awesome. And over on my far left, we got James back in it. Not about the Sixers, but we're about the Raptors today. So how are you feeling, James? I am feeling good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> After getting seven, I guess I feel good. Awesome. And our very special guest of tonight, coming back to our show. How you feeling, Adam? I'm feeling great. Thanks for having me. Awesome. This is just straight up from the game that we just watched. We're going to talk about the Raptors a little bit later. But we're going to go straight to what you're wearing for tonight. That Kawhi and Dime viral <laughs> sensation just happened to us. Tell us a little bit about, you know, how did, how did this start? What's the inspiration, inspiration behind this? Yeah, so um, the Kawhi and Dime is essentially a collaborative effort between Raptors Republic and Rethink Canada. Um, and really, it's... Uh, restaurants will offer to give um, Kauai food for life um, if he resigns with the Raptors. Awesome. I mean, yeah. uh, like, how did you guys thought of this idea? Like, were you guys just like sitting on this? Hey, let, this is the initiative we wanted Kauai. Is this something that, you know, is there any other ideas that you guys had in mind before this yeah. one kind of solidified? Uh, you know what? Like, we kind of we, we kind of just came up with that on our way, and we understand that Kauai is a huge foodie. Oh. Um, and, that wouldn't know. So. Yeah, and, and, and we're super passionate fans, and we just wanted to do something special for the city. Yeah, we were actually yeah. talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah, I was asking about it. I was just, is Kawhi a foodie? Like, yeah. I've never thought, because he's, his life is so private, right? Yeah. So, like, no social media, no nothing. So, how are you guys able to find out about that? Um, so, we we've obviously follow the Raptors pretty closely. Yeah. We know that uh, when he was in San Antonio, he used to take, he used to take advantage of free coupons with uh, Wingstop. Oh, um, okay. And then we just heard that he loves food. Yeah. I see, I see. So, like, previous interview, you said you mm -hmm. have plans in the future, but you don't want to, like, tell us. Did it start from there, or, like, did it start, like, because you did it perfectly right. right right now when it's, like, finals in Easter, mm -hmm. I mean, Eastern mm -hmm. finals. So, yeah. like, were you planning it, like, after the interview with us? Because you were, like, oh, well, I have plans in the future, but, right, right. yeah, so was it a plan, or... Uh, you know what? It, it wasn't. Kind of, it kind of just came together perfectly, right? Um, you can't really plan this because you don't really know if they're going to make the playoffs or if they're if they're going to advance in the playoffs. Um, and yeah, everything just came together perfectly. What was the initial yeah. response from when you guys started? Like, what was the initial response from the people around? Like, you know, like I don't know, if restaurants or people yeah. that seeing the uh, the initiative. Like, what was the initial response? And then how did it, when did you guys start noticing that it was starting to get the hype and the, sure. uh, yeah. the attention? Yeah, um, so the initial response was a lot of support. Um, people just thought it was catchy, people thought it was cool. Um, and it's, it, it started getting picked up by a lot of local channels. Like, so we launched last Thursday, which is about a week ago. Um, on Friday, it got picked up, and then it really got picked up uh, when TNT did that small segment on it. And then that's when it just got completely viral. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's Before, crazy because when you see the, ha like around that time, I was like, oh, shoot, mm -hmm. that's Adam right there. All the way yeah. There. Yeah. <laughs> like when you messaged me on like yeah. DM, I was like, what is this? This looks cool. Like, yeah. yo, this looks sick, bro. Like, you know, Kawhi and Dine, like it's just catch to it. And then like two days later, I'm just seeing like my social media and like Instagram, I'm like, it's all over the place. And yeah. then like you had the interview with, uh, and then all of a sudden it's on TNT. Like, right. did you thought it was ever going to get here or it was, ever, it was never going to get this big? Like. Uh, no. I mean, you never, <laughs> you never do these things yeah, hoping yeah. that they get big. You kind of just do it because it's fun, yeah. um, because you want to do it, and you're around people that have the exact same mindset as you do. And at the end of the day, like, we understand Kawhi's going to be free agent at the end of the year, and we want to show him our love and support and show him that he can commit to Toronto full term, or, or long term, sorry. Um, this is really the definition of shooting your shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, for sure. And we're really just allowing like, all the fans throughout Toronto just to do that. Yeah. So you guys launched on Thursday. Mm -hmm. How many restaurants do you have now that are signed up with you guys? Yeah, so it's, it's really tough to say because it is a moving number. And, oh, wow. and not okay. even just restaurants, but like all types of businesses yeah. join. Oh, nice. Um, so as of Monday, we have 50, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's in maybe the 70 range. Um, but yeah, like t to date, uh, there's been like a radio, like a, like, a, like a studio recording place that has joined. Uh, Lyft and Uber drivers can join as well. Um, it's, it's really just taken off and, and, and grown outside of just food and beverage. Nice. What are yeah. some of the member, uh, the ones that you can remember, kind of notable restaurants or notable services that you can 
remember from, staying, from people that have signed up? For yeah. Um, so I, I remember the first ones that joined us, like LeSelect, Rodney's, Barhop. Um, the biggest one, like they're not completely tied to Kwan and Dime, but uh, the owner of Condo Realty has actually offered a multi-million dollar home. Oh, wow. If Kawhi wow. does resign, yeah. so oh, I'd love yeah, to see yeah. if he actually oh holds God, his end of the bargain yeah. and gives him the gives him the condo. Yeah. Um, He's basically he set do after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. If he does resign, yeah. though, yeah, he will literally never have to pay for anything for yeah. the rest of his life if he does resign. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. have they? Have they? Uh, I don't know because I've never seen them in an interview. Have mm -hmm. they ever gotten? In interview from Kawhi asking with regards to like, have you heard of this initiative? Have you heard of this movie that's happening in Toronto right now? Has Kawhi ever been notified of it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, like, have you, like, have you guys ever heard Kawhi talk? Yeah. Like, besides like that's the interviews, true. like in like in like passing as like a casual human being. Yeah. Like he's kind of like, in, like in my opinion, and I tell my friends a lot. I tell my friends this. He's kind of like Denzel, like. Outside of movies, what do you really know about him? Nothing. Nothing. Right? That's true. And like Kawhi's kind of like that. Like, I don't even know where he gets his hair braided. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's nobody true. knows that stuff, That's right? True. But that's yeah. good research for, I mean, like, re research skills for you guys finding yeah. out about like, the <laughs> to wings find out and that stuff you, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, yeah. like, I remember looking at, like, Kawhi. He used to drive 1995 Chevy yeah. car. Yeah. So, like, for him getting all this free stuff, it's mm -hmm. something, you know, <laughs> yeah. for a good thing for Kawhi, you know, yeah. and Raptors. So. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we love the Raptors, so I think yeah. So I'm just wondering how can other like shops and everything or other uh, services can be able to you know take mm -hmm. a part of the initiative? Like what are the what are the steps, what are the steps like, for it? people that are interested? Yeah, um, that's a good question. So it's it's pretty easy. You just go to kawaiandine.com. Um, when you go there, you can download the badge. Um, from there, you just print it off and then you just display it on your store, nice. your storefront. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty easy then. What about your merch? How did it get yeah. that? Yeah, this is Mine a sale right now. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> that have? But you have like the one like printed right yeah. into no, it. No, yours yeah. looks good. Yours looks good. Um, this is this is just one of one. Yeah. Uh, we might introduce merch, might not. It's it's not really a focus of ours. It's yeah. it's really just more about bringing the community together. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. Uh, this mm. is one thing that kind of came into my mind. Like, what sure. do you think this says? Like, when you guys launch the uh, the campaign and then the initiative and is going to this, what does this tell you about like the just the Toronto or just the Toronto culture, just Canada mm -hmm. in general, in terms of like them fully embracing this and just fully uh, participating in the movement and making this like you know a whole viral nationwide sensation? Yeah, I mean, one one it shows how passionate our fan base is. Like. Uh, we don't we don't get a lot of notoriety because we are in Canada. When you when you talk to U.S. teams, so I mean, just showing this and just showing how supportive we are of the Raptors and Kawhi, I mean, it's there, there's no contest anymore, right? Um, and and just with Toronto, it's it's a big city, but it's also kind of a small city. You know what I mean? Like yeah, everybody sure. knows each other, so yeah. it does have it does have that feel where everybody knows each other. Everybody wants everybody to. Uh, to win and what he wants everybody to like everybody wants to support everybody right so um you don't really see that in other big cities like people are more or less competitive but here like everyone just wants to support that's true yeah, yeah like, that's probably like the thing that i see about canada it's just yeah we have we were united front with this and they said yeah we want Kawhi, and like mm -hmm. this is yeah, like a, a 180 that, degree yeah. turn from like the moment we traded for the uh the, we traded the rosen for Kawhi, and everybody was like Furious, and now it's yeah. like we're reunited yeah. again. Like, yeah. are you surprised by that? Like, is that just something that you know we as Toronto is just like that? Like, we we were emotional, passionate, but at the same time, you know, we understood that it was for the better that we traded Demar for Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I wasn't as attached to Demar as a lot of people were. Yeah. So I was I was fully on board about it. Yeah. Um, like at the end of the day, like Kawhi is a top three generational talent that you can mm -hmm. build around for years mm -hmm. that comes through in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think fans know that. Fans are super smart about that. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're doing all this stuff for him. I don't think we do it for anybody yeah, else. Think, yeah, that's what I was yeah, like, I, like Maybe like a Durant, but he's kind of a snake, so probably yeah. not. <laughs> but like, like think of like a Kawhi or like yeah. if like a Giannis were to play here, like people would... That one is loyal. Yeah. And like Toronto is super, super crazy when it comes to sports. Like yeah. we are a, a such a massive sports town mm -hmm. um, that we would do something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I yeah. agree. I mean, yeah. we're the only team that represents the country anyways, right? Exactly. So yeah. we have that whole fan base. Mm -hmm. So we got people all the way from Vancouver, all the way from Montreal. Yeah, the whole country to like, is backing exactly. yeah, yeah, back the whole country. Yeah, especially yeah. for the basketball team, right? So. Yeah. 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 And, and you know what? There's Raptor fans everywhere. Like, we've even had people that are in Australia that want to participate in Kawhi and Dye. Oh, Amazing. Wow. Yeah, so we're, we, we are really are. We really are everywhere just because Canadians are everywhere, right? Yeah, that's true. I agree.